I'm trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, we ain't trying to grow that stuff for you. For the record, that boy ain't going on the way. Hey, y'all, hey, y'all, hey. It's your girl, Zoe, a.k.a. Melanie the Beauty. Back to you guys again with another awesome video. Today, it is a hair video, and I will be showing you guys, um, well, trying out and showing you guys how I do my high ponytail or um, pineapple as some people call it but I'm gonna add curls in it right now it's just in a bun but it's about to get transformed so y'all about to watch me work 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 I don't want it to get tangled in there so this is what it looks like it's all over the place <laughs> I finger combed it the other night, so of course I have my awesome spray bottle here with oils in it, so I'm going to put some water in it, some oils in it as well. I'm going to use my big tooth comb, bloop, and comb it out. I make sure I get my ends really good, nice and moisturized and wet, because I don't want to mess my ends up. So you want to make sure you add some moisture to your ends before you comb it out when your hair is like this, really. Since I had kids, it's continuing to change as well. My hair overall, as it grows and as I'm, you know, taking better care of it so I'm just gonna comb my hair out for you guys so All right, guys, so this is the final look. Well, not the final look. This is what it is. Now that I'm done, I'm just going to take some of my mousse and put it on my edges. If you know me, I'm not the type to gel down my edges. So, because I don't feel like my edges have to be perfect. But for this style, I'm just going to put a little on here, especially since there's more hair out in the back. Um, it is secure back here, but I just want it to be smooth. Um and laying flat for the most part so i'm just going to do that 
Add a little bit more on both sides. And I'm going to let it dry. I'm not going to set up under the dryer because I don't want to add any heat to it. So I'm just going to take my scarf. It's a silk scarf. I'm going to start at the back. Tie it frontwards and then backwards because I have so much hair back here out and I want that to be laying flat. So I'm going to make sure I'm going up under the perm rod and I don't have any in here <laughs> where it's not going to be comfortable. So there we go. I want to take my kids to the park so I'm probably if my hair is not dry by the time I'm going to take them to the park then I'm just going to put a, one of my other scarves on there so my rides aren't showing just going to tie another scarf around there so I'm going to let this dry by itself even if it takes until tomorrow so as far as like how much hair came out during this process it was like this much which i feel like isn't too bad so all right i will be back when i take it out and show you the final look all right y'all so unfortunately <laughs> i did have to go in and sit under the dryer of course i didn't want to but i wanted it to be all the way dry because it's like you really don't know if it's all the way and dry until you start taking them down so yeah i went ahead and did that and it's 100 percent dry so i am gonna put a little oil on my hand to um separate them when i take the rods out and this is jamaican black castor oil so i'm just gonna go ahead and take them down Yep, 100% dry. So, like I said, the base of them are kind of poofy still. And that's because it is in a ponytail. So, I couldn't get, like, all the way up close to the base. I'm not tripping about that because I am going to fluff them out. It may have been a little smoother up there at the base if I would have started at the base first, but I never do that. I will do a perm rod set, possibly doing that starting at the base first of my hair. Well, the root of my hair. And then, see how it Like that one is still poofy, but I'm not tripping. That one is real ugly. I don't know what happened to that one, but it's at the bottom anyway. I'm not tripping. Taking some oil. A little bit. This is actually really thick, so I don't really need too much because technically my hair is already moisturized because i had oil in my spray bottle so these i don't know how many times i'm gonna take them down certain ones i'll take down three times if the curl is like really on point i don't like how that one looks this one only needs to be taken down one time there. Like, the ones that are poofier, I like I said, I will only take those down once. And you just ravel. When you take them down, just ravel them around in the direction that the curl is going. That one is still poofy, but I'm still going to go ahead and take it down a couple times. One time for this little one. Yeah, smaller ones, I usually only take down one time as well, especially if the curl is popping. I don't want it to lose any of its form. So, so yeah, I'm probably going to put a perm rod back on that one. 
this is the damaged one i already know <laughs> just because of the way it feels and it's just like i just know that that's the one that's damaged so i'm gonna take that one down a few times but that one looks so nice All right, guys, so this is it. Rub that excess oil on here. My edges, like I said, came out fine. Now, if I will, like I said, do my edges, I'd rather use the oil, the um, styling mousse. So let me know what you guys think. Of course, do you guys like it? I love it. It's cute. It's something real quick and real simple. I literally did. I've never done this before. I was just like, you know what? Let me go ahead and do it. Obviously, I pull my hair up like this when I do my perm rise. I pull it up. But I feel like the other day, my puff was really on point. I did a high uh, bun and I never done a high bun before. I just was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and put my hair into this little bun. And I pulled it up closer to the front more than I intended to. And I loved it. So I was like, you know what? I can do a ponytail like that and add some curl to it. And this is what I get. <laughs> like I said, it's like a bang. Woo. So in the next couple of days, probably like three days, it is going to be bigger than this naturally because it's going to get more body to it fuller you know the curls are going to separate a little bit more the curls are going to fall and i'm going to love it even more it's not big you know it's not like super big i don't mind it being big but i don't want it to be really big in the beginning because in a few days like i said it's just going to get even bigger so this is it comments below like share and if you try out this style definitely send me a pic send me a pic and i'll post you on my ig so like share subscribe make sure y'all tap that notification bar because i'm probably going to be start doing videos every weekend because i have a lot of store for y'all i have a lot of hair ideas i want to do i'm about to start doing my own nails so definitely stay tuned tap the notification bell when it turns gray that is how you know that you have put on those notifications follow me on instagram at melanated underscore beauty which is the same as my YouTube channel name. Peace, love, and hair grease. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow that stuff for you. For the record.